Welcome back to the channel. Yes, yes, come on, sit on down because you know what time it is? It's time for the definitive tier list of My Heroes Pro Heroes. And all other tier lists will be considered void after this video. Nah, I'm just kidding. I actually like seeing other people's lists compared to mine. So let me know in the comments who you'd put on the highest tier. Speaking of tiers, Here's how mine work. Right at the tippy top is the GOAT tier. This is designated for the heroes I deem to be the greatest of all time. The cream of the crop. Right below that, we got absolute best. Now this tier is for the ones who didn't make it to the GOAT tier, but it would be slander to put them any lower because they're indeed the absolute best. And below that is seems decent. You know, the ones who got a good amount to contribute and do something in the anime. Going further down, we got average we chillin now if these people got graded in my class it'd probably be a c or maybe a c plus you know nothing spectacular but still passing not the greatest tier is for the ones who aren't completely useless but maximum effort was not put in in fact i think some of them could have done a bit better man i'm sounding like a disappointed father talking about that tier the next tier though is barely putting in work now this tier is for the ones who did below the bare minimum or their screen time just held them back a little next up we got no work put in and obviously this tier is for the slacker heroes or more like the heroes who you know didn't put any work in in the last tier is who now i understand there's a lot of heroes in the anime and not all of them can get major screen time this is what the who category is for so that the ones i don't know get a home with all that being said i'm gonna put all might straight into the goat tier like come on the amount of people he's inspired and rescued puts him up there alone but what seals the deal is how safe he makes every Everybody feels whenever he pops up on the scene. I have to give him props. Next on the list, we got this Benton alien looking boy. This gotta be somebody's OC or something that they just snuck in. Cause who is you for real, buddy? Best genius is easily up there in the absolute best category. Even though he didn't outright body anybody, yet he's still not afraid to run the fade. Even if it's against somebody like All for One. But hey, what kind of jeans y'all think he got on? Levi's or maybe some damn Wrangler huh next up we got bubble girl who i think is actually somebody's oc that they put in the anime and i'm not too sure what her bubble cork does for real but you know sir night i didn't pick her for nothing and if not for that she would have smooth went into who category but all my homies like sir night eye out here so she can wiggle herself into the barely put in work category burning i don't really have much to say about her she kind of just exists like i think the best i can probably say is her personality was kind of like a female Bakugo, but yeah, no, nothing. No work put in whatsoever. But on to the next one. We got Cement Toss. More like Cement Boss. He's going straight into absolute best. This brick boy always building crucial arenas like the UA Festival Arena or even the place that the heroes and civilians had to camp out because them villains were tweaking. I think you can understand why he's up there. Bro, no. No, bro. Aw, oh, hell nah, bro. If I was doing any sort of crime and this thing came to stop it, I'm calling the cops on myself. Ain't no way I'm letting Kevin Durant's cousin touch me. That being said, he's going straight into no work put in tier. And this crimson guy can go right ahead with him. Cause to be honest with you, I think bro only got like three seconds of screen time. Ectoplasm's design alone carries him pretty high, but not that high cause we just chilling on him. I do hope to see more from this hero though. Edshot gotta be one of the most cornball names in my hero. And that's competing with Sugar Man. But I can't flame on him too hard cause man is cracked from the three times that we've seen him if there were more moments like the one at the villains hideout maybe he'd be higher but for now seems decent is where you go ah uh, yes the lebron of my hero himself endeavor if you watched my last video then you know exactly where this goat is going spam some w's in the chat for the goat tier poster boy himself and following the hype is this dude eraser head man's faced every injury known to man 
hell. I wouldn't be surprised if after the season, it was revealed that he's gotten cancer. I mean, what else could they really take away from him? No, really. They already took his leg, scarred up his face, took his eye, which made his cork useless. <laughs> and he's still going that is a certified goat right there now fat gum he's gonna surprise you but i gotta put him in absolute best i actually might even have to make a video on that 2v2 he did with kirishima but that's for another video for now protecting his student at all costs and that gum gum punch at the end confirmed his slot on the roster i don't know what his name is i just know that he was tutoring red riot in he got four arms. So, yeah, he's going straight into who tier. In the next pro hero, Gang Orca, he's had a good amount of stuff to do in the anime. I'm putting him up in seems decent because of his exaggerated swagger of a black orca. Like, every time he pulls up, man's got that thing on him for real. I'm jealous, Loki. Alright, alright, I think we all can agree that this man's was clapping All Might's mentor. You gotta give him some props for that, but no, seriously, Gran Torino? Still putting in work on them youngsters to this day. I gotta give him absolute best tier for that one. And then there's Gunhead. He's I. I mean, I'm not putting him in no work category, but at the same time, he's only going just above it because of how much Ochaka uses his martial arts and how much it'd be working. So you got lucky me boy the second ranking hero hawks is next and man oh man it's like the more he shows up in the anime the higher and higher his ranking goes on this tier list so when he was hitting duos with endeavor and fighting that high-end nomu and now fighting all for one yeah he's definitely getting goat status for that one hellhound he's there you know i know that he's just a dog guy in the my hero world and like he has the powers of a dog but uh yeah i'm gonna have to put him in no work put in uh, just because i know his name or else he would have been straight to the who tier kamui woods has a couple of cool moments in the early seasons but further in the anime it feels he kind of gets a little forgotten so i'm gonna have to slide him into barely putting in any work i'm sorry but you know who i'm not sorry for on this list are these two jobbers down in the who tier because like no bro who are you for real i've seen every episode of my hero and y'all slip past me comment below who y'all think these two are now lady Nagant, i could have sworn she was a villain right i don't know how she got onto this tier list but i'm gonna let it slide and she's gonna slide straight into barely putting in work because her sniper game is strong but i've only seen her use it a couple times and she also got clapped by deck eat is big bro will be joining her because even if he had limited screen time he still survived a stain attack which mind you stains clapped heroes before and he also went toe-to-toe -to -toe with three of ua's finest so that deserves some respect even though bro got perma nerfed after the battle now the members of the wild wild pussycat gang they going straight into barely putting any work in except for one and that's for a good reason but we'll have to get to that a little later because now it's time for manual hell yeah the kite man of the my hero universe and to be honest i didn't really think that much of him until it, he came in handy in the shigaraki jumping i mean this fight had me confused on how aizawa and him haven't collabed before in the past that factor alone has him going into seems decent off rip i'm gonna have to rip this band-aid off now midnight is going straight into no work put in and i know you're probably punching the air right now and yeah she is indeed a good teacher but anyone who gets taken out by a rebel like this is not going any higher on my tier list. I'm done talking about her. But Mirko, now that's a fighter. She in the runnings would erase her head on who gets abused more in my hero. But that's not why she's placed so high on this list. It's because of how much of a fierce fighter she is. Mirko never runs from a fade. In fact, she runs towards it and molly wops it with them juicy legs. I gotta give her goat status without hesitation. I am hesitating on who this dude is. So yeah, you know where he's going. On the other side of things, we got the principal. And bro got all them intelligence stats 
hits, but always in the background whenever there's a fade going on. To be honest, what really sealed his fate is how many villains been able to not only just pull up to the school, but also kidnap students? Like nah bro, El Principal, El Principal, no work put in. Miss Joke, I'ma be honest, you a joke my boy. Get your goofy eye to the who tier list girl. In Mount Lady, she's always trying to do her best and you gotta respect her for it. But at the same time, she don't really be doing nothing mind blowing. So she fits best in average, we chillin'. Vlad King has a lot going on for him. Cool name, cool cork. He's even a cool teacher, but sadly, he's heavily underused. So until we get more from him, we're gonna have to put him in not the greatest. The whole thing of having not much screen time that Vlad has also applies to Nana Shumura. But because we know how well she trains little Toshinori, we gotta boost her up a little into we chillin'. And remember that wild wild pussycat member we forgot the rank? Yeah, she's going straight into no work put in tier. Not not only did Ragdoll lose her court, but the biggest op in anime history now got it. So I can't put her on their level. Silky's first mate was cool. You gotta respect her for helping protect the seas and all, but she's not the greatest. And Mechman? I know I've seen him in one or two episodes, but I haven't seen him in the same room as another villain at all. So yeah, brother, you're gonna have to go into the who category. And Silky is going right next to his first mate. If Gang Orca wasn't in the show, maybe you'd rank a little higher, but sadly, he just blows you out of the water. Pun intended. Now there's present Mike. Whenever present Mike pulls up, I gotta turn my volume down a couple notches, especially in them damn games. Ah, listen carefully, listeners. Coming up. Uh, my ears burn. He's so loud, but he's definitely going to the weed chilling tier list because he really just be vibing. I, I can't really see him getting attacked by a villain who like hates him outright. Snipes is gonna have to join him strictly because he caught Shiggy lacking lacking and almost caught a whole body. But that's the only thing he really done that was noteworthy. This guy's name is Rocklock, by the way. I know he thought of that name in like two seconds and then stuck with it. But despite that, he's going into seems decent because he helped with the overhaul fight and he helped with the Shigaraki jumping to a lesser extent. But just surviving those two events is impressive. The dragon hero is next and is going to follow him in that tier because she was also at both fights and, you know, survived. I don't know who this is. Maybe it's Hound Dog's brother in law or something. But yeah. He's going into who category. Next up is Sir Night Eye, and he definitely deserved better. But since his quirk was OP and hard to write for, he had to go. And combine that with him being All Might sidekick, Absolute Best was just calling his name. Speaking of names, I don't know his and I don't know hers, but I do remember she was helping a couple of UA students, so she's safe from the who tier. Coach's parents, I'm sorry, but I don't know you, fam. And neither did does Kota to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of wild. What's your power, Goofy? Doing my laundry? Also, they kind of look like 13 from this picture, but I know 13, so she's safe from the who category. But you, nah, you going down there, I'm sorry. This guy, oh, I saved him for last on purpose. Cause I could've just easily slid him into the who category, but nah, I know who he is. Call me Sting, cause that boy ain't no hero. Straight up. He was willing to let Ida die with him instead of getting them all to help him out. And on top of that, bro was just ready to throw in the towel. And if that wasn't bad, what is you wearing, buddy? I know you're not Native American. What museum did you steal that from? I'm on your head. I need to know his quirk for real. Watch it be something that doesn't even relate to his fit. Like, bro has x-ray vision or something. But I'm gonna chill out on him and put him where he belongs. Trash tier. But uh, yeah, let me know what you did differently in your tier list. And I'm up out of here. Peace.